With the power of Bakshish, the blessing of Guru Arjan Dev Ji, Pacha Ji Maharaj Ji themselves have inspired us to be going through their jivani and we even looked at Sachya Pacha Ji's that sama when they sat upon the Tati Tavi last week as well and then towards the end of the Katha we looked at Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji's those bar chords that they would do, those mysterious plays, those games that they were playing as a child, but signifying so much in those games. So we finished off with Maharaj Sachya Pachaji crawling as a child, knocking over that tray that had the Nanaji Guru Amar Dasi Sachya Pachaji's food in it. Us to baad, as Guru Arjan Dev Ji Ji get to an age of an, to, to, go, to go into education, the Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatshaji no fair padne paaya. It the haas alekhada wa history writes that Guru Amar Das Ji Paatshaji de Nanna Ji taught them Guru Makhi Akhar themselves. So they were privileged to sit down with Guru Amar Das Ji Paatshaji and learn Guru Makhi Akhar from them. And they had teachers like Baba Buddha Ji around them. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Ji had great scholars and teachers like Pai Gurdas Ji around them, which was their Mama Ji as well in relation. And history writes that Guru Arjan Dev Ji Ji was also sent to teachers to learn Sanskriti. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Ji was also sent to learn Farsi to learn the Persian language as well. All those teachers' names can actually be found who Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji went to to learn these languages from. But our history writes that even though those teachers' names can be found where they learn Sanskriti from, where they learn Persian from, there's one teacher that cannot be found who taught Guru Arjan Dev Ji Ji Kirtan. Who taught, who gave the Vidya, who gave the art to Guru Arjan Dev Ji Ji, the art of Raj, nobody can find that. And why can nobody find that? Because our history writes that Guru Arjan Dev Ji Sachya Paatsha Ji, that's one thing they start to do naturally themselves. And Asalavich, and the truth is, what is Raag? Raag has many translations. Raag can also be translated to emotion. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji already had that emotion inside them for God. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji went through many different emotions, what they felt for Guru Ram Das Ji Pachaji. Nobody had to teach them how to feel something. Nobody had to teach Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji how to love. Because Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji had all of those things. They went through all of these experiences themselves. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji picked up that instrument called Saranda and they did Kirtan for themselves. But then as Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji is going through their teenage years, Har Same Seva Vich Lagge Rehna, always absorbed in Seva, Whatever needs doing, whatever the father Guru Ram Dasji Pachaji asks them to do, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji, they always put their hands together and straight away, who bachan manke ta, who bachan nu kamona, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji. But on the other side, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji's older brother, Baba Prithi Chand. On the outside, if you look at Baba Prithi Chand, on the outside, if you look at Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji, a lot of people won't be able to see much difference. Because Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji is doing Seva, but when you look on the outside, that Baba Prithi Chand is also doing Seva as well, the eldest brother Panche Sambar Desak. Baba Prithi Chand is very busy from an early age. And then Bada Kusamba Lea, Badi Seva Kitti Baba Prithi Chand Nevi. Baba Prithi Chand would take care of the donations, the peta, the offerings that would come into the Guru's car. There was a lot to take care of. 
the shahid city of Amritsar was being well established. Vasudhi Sagnya Par Anup Ram Das Pur Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji wrote themselves about that city. That Vasudhi, the Vasa, that the population over there in Amritsar in this place that was called Guru Kachak at one time. And then it was called Ram Das Pur as well at another time. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji said that Vasudhi Sagan Apar. Sagan means that the population became very dense in the city of Amritsar. There was a lot to look after, there was a lot to take care of. The Langar Hawat needed to be organized. Who comes Jinni Aake Rehnayote? What Sangat comes to stay there? The organizing of them, where they're going to stay, all of this, Baba Prithi Chand is taking care of. But there's a difference in the way Baba Prithi Chand is doing Seva, and there's a difference in the way Guru Arjun Dev Ji Satya Pachaji is doing Seva, but from the outside, they both look busy. Performance, there's a Bhangati that comes in Asa Diwar and Guru Maharaj says that De De Mange Sehsa Guna Sob Kare Sansar. Maharaj says that De De from the outside it looks as if somebody is giving so much. De De it seems as if they keep giving and they keep giving. Somebody comes to the Guru Kar, we all might be able to witness this. Somebody comes to Tantan Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Sache Pat Ji. Somebody puts some money in the Golak. Somebody comes to Guru Granth Sahib Ji Pachaji and brings a Ramallah for Guru Sahib Ji. Somebody maybe brings some dal for the Guru Kar for the Langar. Somebody may even donate a car to the Guru Kar and Guru Sikh Peru Guru Granth Sahib Ji Pachaji Bani saying that when you look at them, what is it? What can we see? They, they, that all they are doing is they are giving and they are giving. But then Sadhguru Ji Pachaji saying they, they, but can they mange? Sahasa Guna. But little do we know what's going on inside the Kanaki Kende Para Andro Kende Mange, they're asking for what? Mange Sehsa. Sehsa means a thousand, but what they're asking for in return? Kende Mange Sehsa Guna. Guna means times, they're asking for a thousand times over what they've given. Somebody's given 10 pounds, but only they under Asya. So it looks like from, some, from outside, somebody's giving and giving Kanaki Pachi Kende De De, but what they're asking for in return? Can they a thousand times over what they have given? Somebody is given 10 pounds, somebody is given 100 pounds, but saying to Oh Guru Sabaji, bless me with a house worth 100,000 pounds. But from the outside, they look as if they are giving so much, but we don't realize how much they are asking for in return from inside. And then what does the world do instead? Can they get Paji? Can they sob kare sansar? Can they, when the world looks at them giving so much from the outside, can they, can they sob kare sansar? And the people, the world starts to sing their glory. They'll say, wow, look how great this person is. But little do they know they've all they've come to the Guru is to do some trade. All they've done, they treat Guru's house like a shop. They come here and they give something and they want something in return, but a lot greater than what they are giving. But then, if you look at Baba Prithi Chand, what is it that he wants? In Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Paat Ji saying, the biggest downfall in anybody's life, what is, what is a lot of people chasing after? The Paat Ji Kende, that is Raj. Raj is power, that sense of power. Wanting power over people. And Guru Sikh Peru, in Apne Vithi Raj Ek Nashaya. This, it's an, intox it's an intoxication in itself. This power, this power trip that people want. So what is his eye on? He wants the eye, his eyes in the Guruship. He wants that throne. Guru Arjan Dev Ji, Satche Pataji have no intention of this in their mind. But like every Guru's time, just like that time came, Guru Sikh Pairo in the time of Pai Lena Ji, in the time of Guru Nanak Satche Pataji, and Guru Bani tells us that Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pataji tested their Sikhs and tested their own sons. Some people ask us this question that Guru Sahib Ji, would Guru Sahib Ji really test us? People say to us today as well, can they, would, really Guru Sahib, would Guru Sahib Ji actually do that to their Sikhs? But Guru Sikh Pairo Pai Satan Balwan, they've told us that in Gurbani, they'll say, Sikha Putra Kok Ke. Kok means to test. That Guru Nanak Dev Ji Paat Ji, they tested the Sikhs and they tested their own sons themselves. And it's actually written in Gurbani, this is Sikha Putra Kokke Sab Ummat Vekho Je Kiyon 
ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆਂਦੇ ਭਾਈ ਸੱਤਾ ਬਲਵੰਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸਭ ਉਮਤ ਵੇਖੋ ਉਮਤ ਮੀਨਸ ਦਾ ਪੀਪਲ ਦਾ ਸੰਗਤ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਔਰ ਲੁਕ ਪੀਪਲ ਲੁਕ ਔਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਾਤ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸਭ ਉਮਤ ਵੇਖੋ ਜੇ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਵਾ ਇਹ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਾਤ ਜੀ ਆਪ ਟੂ ਵਾ ਦੇ ਵਾ ਆਰ ਹੀ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਪਰ ਹੂ ਕੇਮ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਟੈਸਟ ਫਿਊ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਇੰਜੋਏ ਆਲ ਦਿਸ ਟੈਸਟ ਦਾ ਉਸ ਜਾ ਸਾ ਦੋਸ ਸਾ ਦੋਸ ਮੀਨਸ ਫਿਊ who was able to pass these tests there was only one left remaining at the end of jasa the rosta lehna tikki on the kind of tikkiya tor kind of who was able to be who was able to endure all of this that was by lehna ji time came for in guru ramdas ji paach ji sama as well guru ramdas ji paach ji in amritsar <clears throat> and then who came their cousin came along one day from from lahore from chunna mandi where guru ramdas ji paach ji was born their cousin's name is sahari man it's their taya ji son and when their cousin came and they said to guru ramdas ji paach ji kende he guru ramdas ji paach ji then the oh my brother kende it's my son's wedding will you will you come to my son's wedding tusi utte charan pao je tusi aap utte honge sara karaj kende it will be very successful everything will be ਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਦੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜਵਾਬ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਕਿ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਲਾਹੌਰ ਟੂ ਟੂ ਅਟੈਂਡ ਦ ਵੈਡਿੰਗ ਕਿ ਨੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਬੜੀਆਂ ਆਉਣਗੀਆਂ ਕਿ ਨੇ ਅਮਤ ਸੰਗਤ ਨੂੰ ਉੱਥੇ ਨਾ ਫਸਵਾਓ ਕਿ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਔਖਾ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਕਿ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਆਲ ਕਿ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਫ ਅ ਵੈਡਿੰਗ ਕਿ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਦੀ ਉਹ ਦੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਨੂੰ ਉੱਥੇ ਨਾ ਫਸਵਾਓ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਵਾਲੇ ਵੀ ਔਖਾ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਕਿ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਇੰਨੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਨੂੰ ਸੰਭਾਲਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਕੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਸੰਗਤ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਪਾਤ ਜੀ ਜਸਟ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਦੇ ਬਰ ਦੇ ਕਜ਼ਨ ਸਹਾਰੀ ਮਾਲ ਸੈਡ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦੈਨ ਦੇ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਡੂ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਵ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਸੈਂਡ ਵਨ ਯੂਰ ਆਲਡਸ ਸਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਪਾਤ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਠੀਕ ਆ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛ ਲੈਣੇ ਪ੍ਰਿਥੀ ਨੂੰ ਬੁਲਾ ਕੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਪੁੱਤਰ ਪ੍ਰਿਥੀ ਚੰਦ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਔਰ ਸਨ ਪ੍ਰਿਥੀ ਚੰਦ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਯੂ ਕਜ਼ਨ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਾਈ ਕਜ਼ਨ ਹੈਜ਼ ਕਮ ਫਰਮ ਲਾਹੌਰ ਐਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਆਸਕਿੰਗ ਇਫ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਕੈਨ ਅਟੈਂਡ ਦ ਵੈਡਿੰਗ can you go jaya in my place can you go in my place to lahore and own that place gurusip pero little did he realize that gurusip that he got his eye on now this is the test from their father to see who is going to be willing to go to lahore it seems like a very simple task par hai bada okha jado pair te on the park par gurusip pero when that time of test comes it's a lot more difficult than we think Baba Prithi Chand starts to think in his mind is very clever but Guru Gurbani says to us that sahasyanpa la koe ta ek na challe naal kade but when that time comes to go when that time comes of test no matter how many cleverness you have got in your mind they not going to work ethe jadon puchya Baba Prithi Chand nu Baba Prithi Chand starts to think he goes nana ji used to do bachan because nana ji gave it used to do bachan that father is going to live only so long because that time is now coming that time is now approaching when father is going to leave very soon because guru amar das ji paach ne ishara kita ya that guru ram das ji paach ji will only live so long that time is coming that means that time is coming to give the guru ship if i go now to lahore i might miss out on the opportunity of receiving the guru ship so he starts thinking from inside oh kehan laga guru saab ji inni garmi vich oh guru saab ji so how are they i'm going to be traveling in this heat mera ta bura haal oh aise hi ho jana ya kehnde i'm going to have to go through so much difficulties traveling in this heat and and this is far the other thing the second thing nobody even knows about the ins and outs of what money comes into the guru's house and where to use it how to use it how much peta how much offering is going to go towards langar nobody knows how to run the guru's house can you just match and get five go for me who is going to do all of this and guru ramdas ji paach ji kehle kende putter kende koi gal nahi don't worry let all did he know that this is that time now of that test but what's really happening he's failing this test guru arjan dev ji paach ji kende kende mahadev putter tu kende tu jaunga they said to their middle son now kende mahadev kende will you attend the wedding baba mahadev se kende of who's kende kera vya guru ramdas ji paach ji kende kende it's your cousin's wedding kende yo taya ji kende sahari mala has come can you will you attend kende taya ji 
cousin kende mera ni koi bhi kuch bhi lagda kende i have no relatives no one is nothing to me why because baba mahadev had renounced the world he didn't get married or anything he would sit in meditation for hours he didn't take part of anything so he had gone complete opposite way guru ramdas ji guru nanak pat ji ji's house is creating that perfect middle ground that brahm gyani sadan lep jaise jal mein kamal alep to be like that lotus flower to live in the world of the world to live amongst the mud but to raise above that mud and be untouched that guru nanak's house is this perfect way of living to live in the midst of all of this but to remain untouched but guru sikh pyare mahadev had completely renounced that life that householder's life and baba prithi chand had got so engrossed in this maya in everything on all these pleasures he even thought of the guru's guru's throne as the pleasure little did he know only that person can sit on that gurgaddi whose heart is filled with compassion cuz only whose heart is filled com- with compassion can serve the world and then guru ram das ji patsha ji khol over guru arjan dev ji patsha ji kehne lage kehnde arjan putra kehnde tu jaanega guru arjan dev ji patsha ji was asked the same question kehnde arjan will you attend guru arjan dev ji patsha ji at that time they put their hands together kehnde pita ji kehnde aaj ta tusi eho je mauke te bhejan lagge ha jis nu khushi da mauka aakhya janda ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਪਿਤਾ ਜੀ ਪਰ ਜੇ ਕਿਤੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਜਾਨ ਵੀ ਖਤਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਵੇ ਕਿਤੇ ਜਾਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਖਾਂਗੇ ਆਖੋਗੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਫੇਰ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜਾਵਾਂਗਾ ਬਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਾਚ ਜੀ ਰਿਟਰਨ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਸੇਡ ਓ ਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਚ ਜੀ ਓ ਮਾਈ ਫਾਦਰ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਟੂ ਟੂ ਅ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਫ ਹੈਪੀਨੈਸ ਟੂ ਅ ਵੈਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਟੈਂਡ ਅ ਵੈਡਿੰਗ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਬਾ ਓ ਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਚ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਈਵਨ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਸੈਟ ਮੀ ਸਮਵੇਅਰ ਵੇਅਰ ਮਾਈ ਲਾਈਫ ਵਾਸ ਇਨ ਡੇਂਜਰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਰੈਡੀ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਦੈਨ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ Guru Sikh Pyaro but truly who can really go to Lahore today Lahore remember is that same place in 1606 where Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pat Ji was called was summoned in the court of Jahangir that was out in Lahore today only that person can go to Lahore Guru Sikh Pyaro Guru Ram Das Ji Pat Ji telling the world today is a happy time but there's going to be a time not when they go and sit on a manji that is decorated to celebrate for a wedding but, to, but one day a day is going to come only that person is going to be able to go to the hall that is going to be called again that to be sit on on a tatti tavi instead guru ramdas ji pat ji knew that is only guru arjan dev but i need to show the world this we all talk about that sama we all talk about that time of guru arjan dev ji pat ji sitting on that tatti tavi and what jahangir did we all talk about what chandu shah did and some even why his name is chandula that suraj prakash granth by sabhi kavi santosh singh ji why his name as as chandula jeda rishta fir baad ch inkar kita hu rishta was returned by the guru's house for his do of guru har gobind sahib ji paatsha everybody talks about him torturing guru arjan dev ji paatsha ji everybody talks about a jahangir everybody talks about prithi chand he played a part but not many people we don't talk about what was done to guru arjan dev ji such a part ji throughout their life for many years that they sat upon the throne of guru nanak guru arjan dev ji part ji not only showed the limits of tolerance sitting on that tatti tavi on that burning hot plate but guru arjan dev ji part ji whilst they sat on the throne of guru nanak for about 25 years guru arjan dev ji part ji throw showed us that tolerance that limits of tolerance throughout their complete life and how we're going to look at that guru arjan dev ji pat ji was physically burned at the end of the life in 1606 but what we're going to look at today is how baba prithi chand their own brother was trying to burn guru arjan dev ji such a pat ji from inside because what did guru arjan dev ji pat ji have from inside and where did they get it from what did they take they had amrit bani har har teri sun sun hove parmagat meri janan bujhi सीतल होए मनुआ सतगुरु का दर्शन पाए जियो दैट्स व्हाट गुरु अर्जुन देव जी सच्चे पाच जी हैड दे यूज्ड टू टेक गुरु रामदास जी पाच जी बाणी दैट बाणी ऑफ द ऑफ द पिता जी गुरु रामदास जी पाच जी दैट बाणी ऑफ द नाना जी और गुरु अमरदास जी सच्चे पाच जी दा पियो दादे का खोल डिठा खजाना ता मेरे मन पया निधाना 
that khajana, that jewels that they took, those pearls that they took of their Guru's Bani, of Guru Ram Dasi Pachaji's Bani. What happened to them when they took this Bani inside of them? That Amrita Bani, that Amrita Bani, Amrita meaning full of nectar, this Bani full of sweetness. That Amrita Bani, this Bani is full of nectar, full of sweetness, Guru Sikh Piyayo. And what did Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji do with this Bani? That Amrita Bani, Har Har Teri, Oh Hari Vaheguru Ji Akal Parkh This Bani These divine words That come from you That full of nectar Full of sweetness Ta Amrit Bani Har Har Teri So So Ho Vahe Paramagat Neri Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paach Ji Throughout their life They listen to this Bani As they were listening to this Bani So So Ho Vahe Paramagat Neri They said It took my God It took my state To this Paramagat To this very highest level this high le- highest level, this high level of Brahm Gyan. Can they sort of hold it? Paramagat Neri. Can they what happened to me when I was taking this body inside of me? Can they Janan Buddhi? Can they took, took away this Janan? And there's two things that I refer to as Janan. Janan means of this burning. Most of us, most people in this life are burning from inside. A lot of people are burning with jealousy from inside. Guru Sikh Piyaru. Baba Prithi Chand was burning with jealousy from inside from Tan Tan Sri Guru Arjan Dev Ji Satya Paatsha Ji but Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatsha Ji said when I heard this Bani when I listened to this Bani I took this Bani inside of me what happened to me when I took this Bani inside of me that Janana Buddhi every, every all of that burning that burning of jealousy that burning of desires that, desire, desires that burn people from inside Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatsha Ji said what happened to me when I, took, when I listened to this Bani that Janana Buddhi that jalan, that burning went away. Oh, Bodhige, it turned off, it disappeared. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatsha Ji can say that jalan buddhi seetal hoye manua seetal. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatsha Ji says manua manua means my mind can say my mind went completely calm. Can say mera ta man and shant ho gaya can say that my bani sonda se ga pita ji di. Jodho ma kate nana ji di bani sonda se ga ke this bani, this full of pearls it made my mind so calm. Janan Budi Sita Hoya Manua. When? When did my mind go so calm? Can the Satguru ka darshan paaye jiyo? Can the Juro Mac and the Satguru Jida? Can the Juro Darshan paaye? Can the Mera ta man and shant ho gaya? Can the my mind went all completely calm when I can when I had the darshan when I had the vision of my Guru? When I had the vision of Tan Guru Amar Dasi Paatsha Ji. When I had the vision of Tanguru Ram Dasi Sache Pachi Ji Kende Mera Ta Andro Kende Ayn Thanda Ho Gya Par Guru Sikh Piyaru Aithe Gal Ek Sochan Wali But there's something to try and think about over here What is happening over here now? What is the first thing that Baba Prithi Chand did to try and burn Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachi Ji Their brother What did he try and do? How did he try and burn? How did he try and set Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachi Ji on fire from inside? Because they are saying that Janana Buddhi, Sitan Hoya Manuha, they said, I'm completely calm. Everything is so cool inside of me. Because they are so cool. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatshi Ji is so cool from inside. But Baba Prithi Chand is trying to burn Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatshi Ji from inside. How did he try and do this? What was the first war? What was the first strike that Baba Prithi Chand Ji did? Je Apa Principal Sitabir Singh Ji Ji Je Apa Kete Bok Padhi Hai Na? He is named Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatshi Ji's book that Pratak Har. This is outright God Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatshi Ji. This is, what, this is what is named the book of Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatshi Ji. He's got, a, he's got a section in his book writing and it's subtitled Varate Var. Var means strike. He's named a complete section on Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatshi Ji's life called Strike Upon Strike. Where were these strikes coming from? From their own brother Guru Sikh Pyaru. When Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji left to go to Nahar, as they were about to leave, the biggest test that Guru Ram Ji gave them, Guru Ram Dev Ji Pachaji gave them, they said, listen to one thing just before you were about to go, they said, you don't have to come back, 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 until I don't ask for you, you don't return from Nahar. Prithi Chand, he used this in his power. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatshi Ji waited and waited. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatshi Ji waited 
and eight months had passed but no letter had come from Guru Ram Das Ji Sache Paatsha Ji. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatsha Ji started to write letters to Guru Ram Das Ji Paatsha Ji. We're just going to look at the first strike by Baba Prithi Chand. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatsha Ji send, sends a letter to their father but just before the messenger comes and gives it to Guru Ram Das Ji Paatsha Ji bumps into Baba Prithi Chand. Baba Prithi Chand kind of said, what have you got? He said it's a letter from Arjan. Can they call me? Leave it to me, I'll give it to Father. And Gurusik Pyaro, when Baba Prithi Chand reads that letter, when he starts to read Meraman Locha Guru Darsan Tai Birbakare Chatri ki Nyai Trikhan Otre Sant Rave Ben Darsan Sant Pyare Jiyo, when he starts to read, the, read these words, Ota Andro Hor Sadan Lapya, he starts to burn from inside even more. Why? Socho, Kyo Janan Ode Andro Shuru Hogi. Why is he burning from inside? Because when he wrote those letters, when he read those letters, all the time, man, which a good sick pair of a figure pad of Hogia. Why is he so worried? Because these beautiful words, they match with those divine words that he hears that comes out of Guru Ram Das Ji Pachaji's book. They're beautiful now. These words match with the way Guru Amar Das Ji Pachaji used to recite Bani. He's thinking that poetry. That flow of writing, everything matches to the Guru's body. Father is going to give him the throne. Father is going to give him the Guruship if Father reads these letters. So Baba Prithi Chand starts to hide these letters. That's the first strike he does. But what we're going to look at is Guru Sikpe. Why, why was he hiding the letters? Guru Bani tells us, when somebody gets this terrible disease, this is what? What can they expect in their life when they get this terrible disease? What's just happened to him? Gurbani says, Jis andar taat parai hove tisada kade na hovi pada. Paatsha ji can again in Bani Paatsha talks about something called taat. Remember, remember this word taat. Can they just under whoever's got this thing inside of them? Just under taat parai hove. Parai means for others, taat means go sit peru jealousy. Irka Guru Sahib is saying, "Jis under taat parai ho ve, tisda kade na hovi pala." Can they oda kadi pala hoi hi ni sagda jira andro irka na sarda hove Guru Sahib pyaro. Those that are burning inside with jealousy, Guru Sahib says that good can never come to them. On one side, they born to the same mother, they do darshan, they see the same Guru. But on one side, one person is burning with jealousy from inside. No good can ever come to him. But on the other side, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji wrote in their own Bani later on. They said, Bisar gai sab taat parai. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachaji telling us about their state in their Bani themselves. Bisar means when something vanishes, when something goes. Remember this word taat means jealousy, so follow this pankti now. Guru Arjan Dev Ji saying, Bisar gai sab taat parai. Can they, oh my jealousy has gone. When? Can they, when did my jealousy disappear? Can they, Bisar gai sab taat parai jab te saad sangat mohe pai. Can they, from that day I had saad sangat. Saad meaning here Guru. Can they, that day I had the Guru sangat. Can they all say then? Can they marry Sari? Can they talk? But I met again. Can they my whole jealousy from inside? Can they wet that day? Can they, I had the sangat of my guru? Can they then what happened? Can they when it all disappeared? Can they na po bari? I had no enemy left. Na po bari nahi begana. Can they nobody was an outside for me after that? Na po bari nahi. What a beautiful place to be living in, Guru Sikhari. Na to bari nahi badana Sada sang ham ko ban aai Kande Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paachi Kande Jado da kande Mennu sadhu di sangat mili From that day I had sadhu sangat Kande I got on with everybody Kande sadhu sang ham ko ban aai Kande everybody became my friend Kande I got on with everybody That's a different thing that they didn't become Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paachi Ji's friend That's a different thing that they had Hatred for Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paach Ji Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paach Ji Said that day that I had Sangat of a Guru 
Can they from that day I had no hatred for no one? I had no jealous for anyone. But there's a question that arises now. We could be thinking that Baba Prithi Chand, he had sad Sangat as well. That Baba Prithi Chand to be sad with the Sangat. Baba Prithi Chand had Darshan of Guru Ram Dashi Pacha Ji. Guru Arjun Dev Ji Pachi saying, when I had Sangat of Sadhu, can everything it all disappeared from you, all these things? So why is not it disappeared for Baba Prithi Chand? He had the same Sangat. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatshi Ji Kehne Uttar Gyo Mere Man Ka Sansa Jabte Darshan Paaya Kehne Jabte Kehne When I had Darshan of my Guru Kehne Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paatshi Kehne All my Sansa All my Doubts Everything Kehne Went for me Kehne When I had Darshan of my Guru Didn't Prithi Chand Used to have the Darshan of his Guru Of Guru Ram Das Ji Paatshi Ji so over here it's saying when they have darshan, so doesn't that mean when somebody has darshan, that's it, it should go? We have darshan of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Pahataji all the time. Have these things gone out of us? If they haven't, that means we, tr- we haven't really had darshan yet, then have we? Then the, the, the definition of darshan maybe isn't what we think it is. Maybe darshan isn't when we come in the presence of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Pahataji and see our Guru with these physical eyes. Because then all these things should have vanished out of us as well. They should have gone out of Prabhupada Prithi Chand as well. Let's ask Gurbani now. Gurbani say that Satgur ko Satgur no Sat ko vekhda. Can they that Jeta Jagat Sansar? Can they Satgur no Sat ko vekhda? Can everybody see the Guru? With these physical eyes, just like we've come. Satgur no Sat ko vekhda. Jeta Jagat Sansar. The whole world, meaning the whole world that comes physically and they, there's many people that comes to see the Guru. Can they part? Can they detect? Mukta na ho vai? Can they that? Not necessarily. They don't get liberated though. They're not liberated from jealousy though, necessarily. E jhuri e nahi? Can one of them eat kha met gai? Can they detect? Mukta na ho vai? Can they bust just seeing with these physical eyes? It doesn't mean that we've been liberated. Can they, when does it work then? When did these things go from our life? Can they jitter? Shabad na kare vichar. Can they until you don't contemplate on the Shabad on your Guru's teaching? And until you don't take it, until you don't break it down. Until you don't take what the Guru Shabad into your life and contemplate on it. And think about it deeply. And then give, go and take it through that process and then try to live it. That's what Darshan is. Darshan is contemplating on the Guru's teaching, on the Guru's wisdom, taking it into our life. Because Neta Sadhguru Nota Sadhko Vekhda. Neta Sadhguru Nota Sadhko Vekhda. Jeta Jagat Sansar. But Dithe Muktana Hoa Hoi Jitjar Shabdana Kare Di Chaar Kande Udo Taak Kande Aapa Muktana Hoa Na. We're not going to be liberated from these things like jealousy until we don't contemplate on our Guru Shabd. We take it deep inside of ourselves. And then, Guru Sahib Ji saying as well in Bani Kaan Kande 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 Sevak Sekh Poojan Sab Aave Hai Sab Gaave Hai Har Har Uttam Bani They say many Guru Ram Das Ji Paachi Ji Bani This is They will say Kande 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 Sevak There's many people that do Seva Sikh There's many people that call themselves Sikhs Kande Sevak Sekh Poojan Sab Aave Hai Kande Sab Aave Hai Then all those come that call themselves Sikhs All those come that call themselves Seva Das they come Sevak Sek Poojan Sab Aave. Poojan means to worship the Guru. How do we worship our Guru? We came here, the first worship that we did when we came into the Guru's Darbar is Kar Anjali Punavadahe. Kar Dandaut Punavadahe. The first worship we did was when we put our hands together. Kar Anjali, it's a great thing to do. Kar Dandaut Punavadahe. Then the second worship we did when we bowed down and put a Makhat before our Guru. Sevak Sekh Poojan Sab Aave Hai Then the third thing Sab Gaave Hai Har Har Uttam Bani And then people say it and they sing this great Bani Uttam Inni Uchi Bani Such a great high Bani Everybody sits here and sings this Bani as well in the Guru's house Can they, But does that mean that they've made it? Does that mean that they've had Darshan? Can they Sevak Sekh Poojan Sab Aave Hai Sab Gaave Hai Har Har Uttam Bani Can they Gaavea Sunea 
तिन का हार थाए पारे कहने पार कहने बार कहने हू सिंगिंग गावे आ सुने हू लिसनिंग गावे आ सुने तिन का उना दा दोस तिन का हार थाए पावे थाए मींस आई एक्सेप्टेड हू सिंगिंग हू लिसनिंग इज एक्सेप्टेड कमिंग इनटू द गुरुज दरबार हू वर्शिप इज एक्सेप्टेड जिन दोस उना दी दोस जिन सतगुरु की आज्ञा आज्ञा मींस द ओर्डर जिन सतगुरु की आज्ञा सत सत कर मानी who takes the guru's vachan who takes the guru's wisdom and takes it to be true they said it twice very clever guru sahib is this is jin satgur ki aagya the order of the guru what they listen to what they sang sat they take that to be true and then sat the second sat means they make it true in their life they live it as well they give it form the guru what the guru is saying जिन सतगुरु की आज्ञा सत सत कर मानी जेने गुरु दी आज्ञा नो द गुरुज ओर दे टेक इट टू बी ट्रू एंड दे लिव इट एंड दे मेक इट ट्रू इन देयर लाइफ्स कैन मानी दोस हैव एक्सेप्टेड दैट ओना दा गावया दोस दैट हैव कम इनटू द गुरुज हाउस एंड सैंग दोस दैट हैव कम इनटू द गुरुज हाउस एंड देन मथा टेक दोस दैट हैव कम इनटू द गुरुज हाउस एंड लिसन गुरु साहिब जी कहंदे दोस ओर ऑफ दैट दैट दे हैव डन इज एक्सेप्टेड व्हेन ਜੇ ਦੋ ਸਤ ਸਤ ਕਰ ਮੰਨੇ when you make it true in your life when you live it in your life ਕੋ ਸਿੱਖ ਤੇ ਆਰੇ ਸੋ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਇਸ ਵੈਨ when you take the guru's teaching you contemplate on it and you make it real you live that teaching that was the difference between baba priti chand and guru arjan dev ji paach ji ਇਹ ਹੁਣ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਗਿਆ ਨਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਇਹ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਆ ਸਿੱਧ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਟਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਫੋਰ ਅਸ to understand these things because we say many times we do we say many times mas sangat kar ke aaya we'll say i went to a sat sang today i went to the sadhu sang today guru arjan dev ji kehnde ke kehnde udan kayo guru arjan dev ji saying say that day when you can say yourself that bisar gayi sab taat parai when you can say oh my jealousy has gone from inside jab te sad sangat mohe pai when you can walk out the guru's darbar and say i walked into the guru's darbar with this vikar i walked into the guru's darbar with this deep merit inside of me but when i walked out this deep merit left me and I, it was filled with a quality then you can say na aaj saad sangat mohe paai na aaj saad di sangat pa ke aaya the i did sangat chade i got darshan today because i've made my guru's bhajan real cuz somebody can today can see my guru's bhajan being lived through me naam rahe ho साधु रहे हो रहे हो गुरु गोबिंद तो नानक ए जगत में जिन जपयो गुरमंत गुरसिख प्यारो हाउ डज अ साधु बचन रिमेन इन समबडीज लाइफ हाउ कैन यू कीप अ महापुरख लाइफ हाउ कैन वी कीप द गुरु अ लाइफ द गुरु इज फॉरएवर एनीवे बट हाउ कैन पीपल सी द गुरु अ लाइफ थ्रू अस व्हेन वी आर लिविंग व्हाट द गुरु इज सेइंग दैट नाम रहे हो साधु रहे हो Sadhu means a saint. Sadhu means the guru. How does that? How does the guru? How is the sadhu? How can people see that sadhu to be alive? When people see in our actions, and they can say then, sadhu rehe ho dekhoo, guru ragya na. We can still see the guru through their actions. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paach is attacked in so many ways through their family, but Guru Arjan Dev Ji Paach Ji been. in the midst of all of this but they remain like the lotus flower why because that janmat gurmat brahma pashanu because they were a brahma gyani a self realized person from birth because brahma gyani who is a brahma gyani guru arjan dev ji paach ji gave us a description who a brahma gyani is they will say that brahma gyani sada nirle that remains detached jaise jal mein tamal alek just like that lotus flower in the hua kehte brahma gyani sada nirdokh Brahm Gyani is that person that never, that no, no, nobody ever has to point a finger towards their direction and say they've got the. You can blame them for this. Sada nir dog, o kari doshi nimde. You can never say they've done this crime. They're completely clean and pure. Brahm Gyani sada nir dog. Jaise sur sarv ko sok, what they do? They like the sun. Jaise sur sarv ko sok, they treat everybody equally and they give heat to everybody equally. they give light and heat to everybody equally 
That's what Abraham, that's who Abraham Gyanni is. And Guru Sikha Pyaro, that was the first war that Baba Prithi Jand did to try and bring them down. And then the second thing that Prithi Chand did to Guru Arjan Dev Ji Padshah Ji. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Padshah eventually when they come back. When they come back to Amrit Sar Guru Arjan Dev Ji Padshah when Baba Buddha Ji went and got them. When Guru, when Guru Ram Das Ji Padshah Ji sent for them. Guru Ram Das Ji Padshah Ji gave them the Guru Shik. After giving, after giving Guru Ram Das Ji Padshah Ji the Guru, after giving Guru Arjan Dev Ji Padshah Ji the Guru Shik. Guru Baba Prithi Chand is burning from inside. Baba Prithi Chand goes running to Baba Buddha Ji. Can they, how can you let this happen? You know that I'm the eldest. You know how much I did. You know how, how hard I worked for this. You should have made sure. You should have spoke to Father. You're the eldest in the Guru's house. You've been around since Guru Nanak's time. You should have explained to my father that he needs to go to me. Baba Buddha Ji said, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do You need to speak to your father. Baba Prithi Chand, in so much rage, he goes to his father, Guru Ram Das Ji, and he said, he goes, how can you do this to me? He had the nerve to go so low. He said, if it wasn't for me, this Guru's house wouldn't even run. Because there wouldn't even be no longer here. He said to his own father, because even you don't know the comings and the goings and the ins and outs of the Guru's house. Because you're so busy seeing the Sangat. He goes, what do you know? How do you know how things are run here? He says, it's all because of me. And then Guru Ram Das Ji Pataji to teach us the biggest lesson that we can ever learn. They recite Bani at that moment. And it's in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Guru Ram Das Ji Pataji says, Kande 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 Prithi Chand Kande Kahe Pood Chagad Taho Sang Baap Kande O Son Kahe Pood Why? Chagad Why are you arguing? Kahe Pood Chagad Taho Sang Baap Why are you arguing with me? With your father? Kande Tu Apne Peter Nari Kande Kaan Lap Pya Kande Ahe Can you argue with your own father? Kahe Pood Chagad Taho Sang Baap Kande Kande Jane Te Jane who gave birth to you? Jinte jane badire tumho. Who brought you up? Who did everything for you? Jinte jane badire tumho. Badire means badhe kitta. Jinne tumho badha kitta. Jinne tere vaste sab kuch kitta. Kende tinsyo chagrat. Kende tinsyo chagrat. Paap. Kende it's a son. Kende son. It's a sin to argue with that father that's done all of this for you. Guru Ram Das Ji Pachi Ji taught us a big lesson here. They've taught those, they've taught people like me, no matter where you think you are in life, it gives you no right to argue with your parents. You never stop appreciating what they have done. Never. Nothing gives us the right to do that because Guru Gnan Sabji Bhatt has declared that for us. You, sometimes we might think that our parents don't understand. Sometimes we think, what do they know? But Guru Sikh Pere, no, remember Guru Sahib is Bani. No matter what situation is, find a way around. Find a way around. That Kahe Pooda Chagrat Ho Sampa. Tin Syo Chagrat. Remember these words. If you're going to argue with them, Tin Syo Chagrat, Paap Gurbani has declared it's a sin. Guru Ram Das Ji Pachi Ji saw things have gotten out of hand. So they left Amritsar after two days of giving Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachi the Guru Shri. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pachji goes with him, Prithi Chand stays back. The second day, one night they stayed in Govindaval Sahib. The second day, one night they stayed and the second day, Guru Ram Das Ji said, Kandir Arjan, Puttaro, my son Arjan, I'm going to be leaving this body now. <coughs> Guru Ram Das Ji Pachji told all the Sangat and said, Kandir Sangat, you see how many Everything you need, you can take now from Guru Arjan Dev Ji Padshah. This is your Guru now. Guru Ram Das Ji Padshah Ji left their body. Prithi Chand finds out. And now the second thing he does to try and burn and bring down Guru Arjan Dev Ji Padshah Ji, he starts to spread rumours. He said he was away for a year. 
and father was fine. He's been back three days. In two days, I don't know what he said to father in Amritsar, he made him leave. He made him leave Amritsar. He stayed in Goindwal one night. Father was fine. He must have poisoned him. He wanted to get rid of him. And then he tried to blame Guru Arjun Dev Ji and yeah, to say that Guru Ram Das Ji was murdered. He tried to spread these rumours because his jealousy had now gone out of control to such an extent. That was the second bar, that was the second attempt to try and bring Guru Arjun Dev Ji down. But little did they know that Kalkati Tanda had now. They had that Tanda, that cool, soothing name of God inside of them. Simmer, simmer, sada sukhapal. What did they know, Gursikh Pyaru? That Pandi de Landri, Mira Andar, Tanda, Guru Darshan de Eknihali. That from that moment they had the Darshan of the Guru, that their inside had become so calm and soothing. <laughs>